I have Dave Saul here uh, from Liquid Tube Manufacturer Company. Uh, he's selling the uh, Liquid Tube and he's going to describe uh, some of the differences with Liquid Tube and other brands of uh, products that are on the market and what why this is better. Go ahead, Dave. All right. Well, first of all, you need to understand there's about 280 different brands of, of tire sealant in the country. And that doesn't include the stuff people make in the bathtub at home. And I've heard of all kinds of custom concoctions they make. But when it comes down to the bottom line, we've typically come in number one. Uh, first of all, Kubota and Toro and Polaris all came to us and said, we want you uh, to sell us your product and put our label on it. And so we have three very, very uh, strong um, companies working with us. And today I'm gonna to just describe some of the things it can do. First of all, I'll tell you a little bit about the things I have laying here. Uh, this is a gallon jug, it has a one ounce pump. And a one ounce pump uh, works okay, but you have to let all the air out of the tire you're using it on. It's uh, great for bicycle tires. And we also have a quart that you can use uh, that works for bicycle tires. And this will work fine for things like, uh, you can use it for four wheelers. You need about a gallon for a four wheeler. And so um, a gallon will uh, take care of four four wheeler tires or it'll take care of a golf cart or side by side or most lawnmowers. And uh, so the gallon package is fine for that. However, um, this pump, which comes with our five gallon unit, uh, when you purchase them together, this is a 10 ounce metering pump, and this will push back on 55 pounds of air. Uh, we don't usually uh, announce it that way, but we it will do that. Most of the time we recommend 45 pounds because it's a lot simpler to do. It, uh, you take the cap off and the plug out and it slides down inside the bucket like this. And then when you're done, you just take this uh, cap off and you clip the uh, end of it here and you're uh, you're already uh, you're done cleaning it up. Some prod, something products you buy, the cleanup is worse than the job. And uh, this takes care of that very nicely. And when you first put it in, we recommend you, you pump it a few times to, um, mm, brand new pump a little stiff. We pump it a few times in order to get uh, product up in and through the hose. So when you fill the first tire, you got the product right there at the end. It's got a shut off on it. And uh, like I tell people, you'll only forget to shut this off one time. And because <laughs> the pressure in the bucket and the pressure in the pump will, uh, will spray back on you if you don't shut that off. So it, that stops the pressure in the pump and allows you to disconnect from your um, tire. And then you get a little squirt of um, air that will blow out the uh, product that's in the uh, in the valve stem where you've taken out, before you go in, of course, you take out the valve cord. And then you just uh, put the core back in after you've filled it up and top it off of there. Uh, this pump is uh, has a 10 ounce metering feature on it. So uh, here in the front, you'll see it has uh, markings for uh, uh, two, four, six, eight, and 10, and then you can set this locking nut. So if you want to do like uh, 45 ounces, you can set it at nine and then pump um, five, five times and you're all set. So this is, really, this is a really awesome tool. And a lot of times people would like to buy the gallon, but they don't realize that it's a little more challenging to get the product in. And this makes life a lot easier and it's got a lifetime warranty. So even if the neighbor kid drives over with his four-wheeler and an employee throws it behind the duels and he back over with your semi, it's still covered. It comes with a, um, oh, by the way, you need to take this cap off when you stick it in here because if you pump this into a tire, it'll suck the sides in on this uh, bucket. So you need to take that cap off when you first get there, but the cap protects it in transit. It also comes with a uh, large and small um, tool for taking out the valve cord and putting it back in. And then there's some simple instructions about the pump. And of course it comes with a um, metering chart. So this metering chart has all, uh, all kinds of tires in everything you can imagine. It includes uh, off-road tires, it includes uh, 
high-speed ATV and UTV tires, and I always joke that nobody goes over 40 miles an hour, but that's not really true. Uh, we have over-the-road tires, semis, trucks, all kinds of things like that. And then motorcycle and dirt bike tires. Um, I have a second cousin who laid down a motorcycle in uh, eight lanes of traffic in LA uh, from a nail. And uh, he said, I wish I would have had this, I could have saved my bike. And, uh, and he was fortunate that he didn't lose his life. But uh, this is all, all this gives you the background you need for the product. A number of things that this will do for you. One of the really nice things, if you're running trucks or trailers over the road, because it balances uh, and rebalances every time you start to rig up, it rebalances the tires, uh, you will have a longer tire life, up to 30% longer, sometimes longer than that even, because you're not cupping things out and it stays balanced, the wheel stays round, it rolls smooth, and it just lasts longer. And it will also cool them up to 35 degrees. And that's true too for uh, lighter trailer tires. Guys buy a tandem axle trailer or triple axle trailer. The front wheel uh, on that uh, tandem complex or triple complex flips up the nail and the second tire eats it. And then you got a flat tire. And if the tire's already hot, you may have total blow up. <clears throat> With this, because the tire's 35 degrees cooler on a hot, hot day, uh, you have less uh, catastrophic blowouts. Most of our competition has problems with caustic effects on tire rims. We recommend, we, we promise that we will uh, replace the rims if the product just damages them. Um, most tire sealants are caustic and because of that, they eat away at, at rims and beads and things like that. And uh, we're one of the very few that is not caustic because antifreeze won't hurt those rims. And uh, in some cases, if you've got an older tractor or an older vehicle that has some rust on the rim, this will actually clean it up. Now, um, in the use of the product, if you're going to uh, change out a worn out tire, and if the product is clean inside, and that's really important, if the product is clean, you can actually scoop it up and move it to the next tire. However, if the product is a little off color, you need to um, replace it. The reason for that is because um, there are anti-corrosion agents built into the product, and we have more than we need to do the job. And because of that, uh, if the tire, if the sealant is off color, that tells us that those corrosion agents have been used up and you need to replace it. So uh, be very careful about that. You can do that, but just follow the rules. Um, another thing that, uh, this product does is it uh, gives you peace of mind when you're uh, out on a with a vehicle and uh, in the middle of the night you're 45 miles from home and you have a flat tire um, that's not convenient if you're using that as fix a flat first you got to find it in the dark and then the next thing is you got to find an air compressor and so we recommend the preventative if you have your flat tires in front of the shed by putting the product in as a preventative, it makes life a lot simpler when you're out on the road. Uh, other things I can tell you about it is uh, some of our competitors use used products. I mentioned used antifreeze. They also use used fabric sometimes and grind it up to uh, make, uh, make the product. We use new everything. And because of that, uh, we have um, much better quality product in the end. Now let's talk a little bit about the product itself. First of all, it's made with all new um, products. It's made with new antifreeze, so it's not diluted. Some of our competitors buy antifreeze from, or, or get antifreeze free from uh, radio shops. And those radio shops, of course, have, um, it's cut with water. And so you don't have the same quality of product. Plus it's more acidic. And new antifreeze isn't so acidic. We want to protect your rims and, uh, and your uh, metal parts in your, in your tire structure. And so uh, we use brand new antifreeze. Secondly, we use half inch fibers and we don't use straight fibers, we use curly fibers because they entangle together. And if I would pump a little of this out on a piece of paper and let it dry, you'd be able to see that if you take a hold of the sides of it and tug, it won't come apart because uh, the uh, fibers are knotted together. And so when you pump it in the tire, 
Uh, you're getting fiber and then there's clay and there's also uh, plastic particles that are uh, that are ground up and they, so they're kind of like um, uh, goat head. They got uh, sharp edges on them and they get caught in the fiber as the antifreeze pushes the product into the hole with the air pressure and the result is it builds kind of like a beaver dam. And that beaver dam then holds the product and then it dries from the outside in and uh, the result is it um, it holds and uh, makes a permanent fix. It'll heal up to a three quarter inch puncture on a, a tractor tire, combine tire, um, big loaders. And we also have a, an, an extreme product which will handle up to an inch hole, uh, which, is a, which is another grade above this. This product here will handle a half inch hole of a semi tire. The newer, heavier semi tires now will actually do a 5 eighths. In a skid steer tire, it'll do a 5 eighths hole. And it will also uh, solve the, the problem everybody has with the bead coming off the rim. It also is uh, really good for things like locusts, nail staples, barbed wire spears. It handles um, thorns and, and uh, even the big tree thorns that you'll see sometimes. As long as they're within the size range, they'll handle it. We can even handle deer antler. Um, the deal with deer antler is if you get it in there, saw it off. Don't jerk it out and expect everything to work right. Just saw it off and uh, go back to work. You know, we don't, we don't make any claims about sidewalls, but we do have customers that come in and say, wow, I had a sidewall uh, problem and this fixed it. And if, if everything is just right, you can't even get a sidewall fixed. But again, we don't guarantee that. We don't promise that. Yeah. Um, there's some, uh, you know, people who have been in some desperate situations and this solved their problem. Yeah, I had a semi driver, uh, happened to be up in McCook one day, and this semi driver was, we were stopped at a machine shop, and here this semi driver was, and he had a flat on his semi, and had a big heavy load on it. Middle of summer, it was probably um, over 100 degrees out, and he said, man, what am I gonna do? Sunday afternoon, and no filling stations open. He couldn't get a tire fixed. So I said, well, let me call my local filling station down. I know a guy down in our local filling station down in Enola, and I'll call him and, and couldn't get a hold of him. So I said, well, let's, let's run to Indianola, pick up a bucket of liquid tube. And I said, let's fill that tire, uh, put some air in and put some of this liquid tube in. And uh, there's, recommendations here on how much to put in each tire. We've got a sheet on it. Anyway, so we took that five gallon bucket out, pumped so many ounces in, uh, filled it with air, and he called back. He, he was going from North Dakota to S Texas with an oil rig deal on his uh, semi, and it was very heavy. And he got to Texas and he called me and he said, I like that stuff. He says, get me two buckets. He says, I've got two semis on the road and one bucket will do a semi. It's good stuff. It really works. It'll make a believer out of you. And thank you. Like it says, it's got a money back guarantee. Well, thank you, Dave. And you're welcome.